Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of West on IPM. My name is Jaimin Shah. This question is from IPM 2019 QA MCQ section. Pause the video, try this question and then come back for the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning! A chord is drawn inside a circle such that the length of chord is equal to the radius of the circle. So a chord is drawn inside a circle so Here is the circle that I have such that the length of chord is equal to the radius of a circle. So let's say this is a radius and this is a radius. Okay. So basically it forms an equilateral triangle, right? Because all I mean the chord and the radius are equal. Now two circles are drawn, one on each side of the chord. So one above this chord and one below this chord each touching the chord at its midpoint, so they touch here basically, and the original circle. So, so basically, the diameter of a larger circle will be this, and that of the smaller circle will be this, correct? This will be the diameter of the larger circle, this will be the diameter of a smaller circle. Let k be the ratio of area of bigger, uh, areas of bigger inscribed circle and the smaller inscribed circle, then k is equal to. So basically, I want to find out the ratio of area of bigger circle to that of the smaller circle, right? So that, you know, to calculate that, I need to find out what is the radius of a bigger circle and radius of the smaller circle. Let's say that the radius of the original circle is 1. Let's say this is 1. So this is also 1, which means this particular height that I have, height of an equilateral triangle, will be root 3 by 2, will be root 3 by 2. So the radius of, sorry, the diameter of a bigger circle will be 1 plus root 3 by 2. And similarly, the radius of the smaller circle will be the entire length 1 minus root 3 by 2. It will be 1 minus of root 3 by 2. So this is the ratio of the two diameters. I can say that this is the ratio of the two radius as well. And if I want to find out the ratio of the their areas, I'll say it is square of the ratio of radiuses. So if I if I can simplify this, I'll say that this is two plus root three the whole square. Okay, uh, upon I have two minus root three the whole square. If I have 2 minus root 3 in the numer denominator, I can rationalize this, right? So on rationalization, if I multiply 2 plus root 3 in the numerator and denominator, uh, my numerator will be 4 minus 3, that is 1, and denominator, uh, sorry, my denominator will be 4 minus 3, that is 1, and numerator will be 2 plus root 3, the whole square, that will be 4 plus 3, 7, plus 2 into 2 root 3, that is 4 root 3 the whole square, right? So basically I need to find out, so basically this is the value of k that we are looking at, right? This is the value of k. So k will be equal to 7 square is 49 and this is 16 3 the 48, so that's 97 plus 7 4 the 28, 2 the 56, so this is be 97 plus 56 root 3. And that's the given answer. That is the given answer. Now, one way where you could have avoided all the calculation is the moment we get the value of the diameter. Okay. Basically, root 3 upon 2 is one approximately 1 1.7 by 2, that is approximately 0.85. So basically, I can say that my k will be approximately. 
1.85 upon uh, that will be 0.15 the whole square. So, 185 upon 15 is what I am looking at, right. So, 185 upon 115 will be more than 12. So, 12 square is prox, I mean approximately my answer should be somewhere, you know 144 somewhere nearby that, okay. This is definitely not as big as 144, not this and this is 7 plus 4, right, that is again less than 20 in fact. So, that is the only option, the fourth option is the only option that will be, and I can see that 97 plus 56, you know, one getting more than 144, right. So, we could have avoided all the calculation, rationalizing, finding the squares and everything, had, you know, we would have applied this particular approach and you could have your, save your time here. Now, I want you to solve this replica question. Solve on your own. Comment the correct option in the comment section and we will get back with the correct answer within 24 hours.